I'm Mary Ann Bonetti, and it is April in my garden, and that's the time when I trim up my boxwood. Now, I have quite a large variegated boxwood plant, and I tidy it up in April, and after I've snipped off the greens, I call them my pruning crumbs. They're about this size, and this is a great size to make cuttings and create more boxwood plants. So now, traditionally, you take a boxwood uh, pruning crumb like this, pull off the lower leaves, and all those little bumps, those are called nodes, and you simply take this little cutting and poke it into potting soil. Keep this moist, and by next year you have a well-rooted new baby boxwood plant. But I'm going to show you a tip to how to skip this one step. So this here is the raised bed. It has pretty nice soil in it because I use it for annuals. And you can see what I did last year. I already put a boxwood cutting in. And so one thing you can do is simply remove the lower leaves. There is your bare stem. And just poke that directly into the soil. If you have soft enough soil, that should just go in quite easily. And that way, you could do a whole little hedge of box wood cuttings. Now after a year, let's dig this up and see how it's doing. So this one I planted last year, it just was one stem, and look at this, look at all those roots. In one year, this little boxwood cutting can now be transplanted into another part of the garden that doesn't have quite such nice soft soil. But the first year when I, when I strike my cuttings and I put, put them into the ground, I put them in nice soft soil that I will keep moist. And then, there's another example, what you can do is pot them up. This one was in the ground for about a year. I, I pulled it out of the ground Look at those roots. I'm going to put it in a larger container and I'll just grow this on and shape it into a nice little boxwood ball eventually. You'll see me do that maybe next year. So spring is a time. Take cuttings of your boxwood, other soft uh, tissue shrubs, and you too can multiply your plants. This has been Mary Ann Bonetti with Easy Answers for Great Gardens. If you enjoyed these gardening tips, subscribe to our channel so you can get updates on new videos and stay in the know about all things gardening. Click the red subscribe button below. See the description below for more information about how to connect with us on plantersplace.com, Facebook, and Instagram.